There's a look at some boats moving around in Falls Creek this morning at 824. Now, on Saturday, I was coming in from the island to Horseshoe Bay and was blown away by how rusty the water looked. And I got the whole family over, take a look at how rusty the water looked. And then, of course, we hear about these algae blooms. I'm joined by Dr. Martin Helena from the Vancouver Aquarium. Uh, Martin, what are we seeing out there first off? Well, we'll see, we are seeing an algal bloom. Uh, I believe it's being reported as Noctiluca, which is uh, an organism, an algae that's a dinoflagellate, not particularly harmful, but this time of year, very commonly big, large blooms. It'll discolor the water. We use that term red tide, but that gets really confusing because some red tides can be quite harmful. This particular algal bloom is not harmful. How does it, how does it develop? Well, I think every algae kind of has its own like perfect conditions. So winds have to be kind of calm, seas have to be calm. They depend on nutrients often from runoff um, and, uh, and warming water for a lot of the al algae. So summertime, algal blooms, that happens. How does this one or any red tide affect our shellfish? So the, the toxins that we do worry about, for example, saxitoxin, which would close our, 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 um, you know, our shellfish here, um, that's produced by a different type of algae. Usually uh, Alexandrium would be the, the, the species we're concerned about there. This particular algae shouldn't be a, a problem to shellfish. Okay, and even though there have been some at least temporary closures for bivalve harvesting, and that is quite common in the summer months, is that true or not true? Absolutely common to have closures. Again, um, this particular bloom that we're talking about, probably not uh, harmful, but it can coincide with other algal blooms that can be uh, more harmful. They might not even discolor the water, and that's where the kind of confusion lies. Interesting point. So we could see closures for harvesting uh, shellfish even when we don't see what a visual red tide looks like. Absolutely, and that's where that confusion with that whole red tide comes in. Okay, we're also seeing higher than normal E. coli counts along some of our local waters and uh, beach closers, uh, what, for swimming that is, what's, right. what's that caused by? So I, I think, you know, the, the organisms there, E. coli, the bacteria, most often associated with, with sewage and runoff um, and contamination of, of waterways, probably not, not really associated with algal blooms at all. How's this affecting our sea life? Does that affect our, li our you know, sea life in the harbors? We are always really, really worried about um, how our environment is changing. Certainly as climate change comes around, waters might w warm, um, acidity might increase, then we might get more of these algal blooms, some of them more harmful. That will definitely affect our marine life as well as us. And of course, any kind of contamination by humans is, is a big deal for, for all everyone concerned. Do we see more frequent occurrences m more recently because of climate change or warming in our waters, our local waters? We definitely see some interesting Thing. Certainly down in, in, in California, a little bit south of us, we, f as far as algae goes, we have a, an organism that produces demoic acid, which causes amnesic shellfish poisoning. Um, now more and more common to cause large outbreaks and mortalities in sea lions, for example. Uh, finally, how long does something like this normally last for? They can last a long time, weeks at least. Um, coincidentally, I, I just looked it up, and, and last year, right at the same time, Noctiluca, right through Howe Sound, lasted a few weeks. Where's the best place to find out more information? I'd go to the DFO website. Um, Wikipedia is also great always. Yeah, so that's the Department of Fisheries and Oceans, and they give us updates on what's happening in our waters, if it's open season for fishing exactly. or uh, shellfish, anything like that. That part's very important, and DFO is your number one choice there. Excellent. Thanks so much. Thanks Thank for coming you. in. All right, coming up, we're going to check in. In fact, right now, we'll